Hello, family. God bless you. God bless you guys. Hello, hello. God bless you. It is Sunday, October 26th. I'm sorry. No, it's Saturday. <laughs> Today is Saturday, you guys. So happy Sabbath. God bless you. Yes, Saturday, October 26th, you guys. A little bit after 7 a.m. here in California. Hope you guys are all doing well. God bless you. I'm not going to hold you for too long. I just felt led in the spirit to encourage the body of Christ to continue to pray, to continue to pray without ceasing. God help us all, myself included. I'm not exempt. Woo, Jesus. I'm hearing that we need to continue to teach our children how to pray, how to encourage them how to pray, encourage them to search the scriptures, encourage them to trust God, encourage them to even ask God to confirm things, even things that we tell them. Say, hey, son, hey, daughter, what I'm telling you, you ask for confirmation for yourself. Test what I'm saying, you know, and I've done that several times with my boys and I'm gonna continue to do that. You know, I have done that many times actually, but I'm gonna continue to do that because that's really, really um, important, you know, for them to learn how to go to God and to trust him and to be able to know the voice of God, you know, to be able to be sensitive to God's voice, the Holy Spirit, you know, so we're supposed to train up our children That's part of the training, right? Oh, thank you, Jesus. So um, I wanted to also encourage you to pray for Kirk Franklin. Um, I've been hearing in my spirit lately. Pray for Kirk Franklin. Pray for Usher. Pray for Justin Timberlake. Those two, three names really popped up. And also when the Lord put into my spirit, Justin, pray for his wife as well. I think her name is Haley. Is it Haley? Haley Bieber? I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. And Justin is a new father, right? Like, that's amazing. Like, having a baby, it doesn't matter who you are, but having a child is such a blessing. You know, our children are a gift. You know, uh, I believe God um, gives us the gift of parenthood, men and women. You know, it's a, re it's a great responsibility, taking care of another person and raising them. You know, God gave us our children for a reason like he allowed us to be their parents for a reason you know so it's a great privilege to be a parent it really is you know so i just want to encourage you because i feel that so strongly especially um concerning kirk franklin when he went on this rant recently and the things that he's been doing you know teaming up with these secular artists and just his behavior has been really, really troubling. And a lot of lukewarm Christians want to downplay it. They think that we're judging him. They think that we're condemning him. They think we're throwing stones. No, when we see a fellow believer in Christ, even the Bible talks about this. People need to go back to the scriptures and read, you know, and a lot of Christians are not reading their Bible. They're just listening to all these people talk. So it's important that we know the word for ourselves. You know, the Bible says to study the word of God for yourself to be approved by God. Know the word for yourself. We got to be able to rightly divide the word. True, Father God. So, yeah, a lot of lukewarm Christians, they be the first ones to get all upset. But we're supposed to help our brothers and sister, our fellow brother, sister in Christ. If someone says they're a believer in Christ and we see them falling away we see them stumbling are we supposed to just stand there and just watch them fall like come on y'all so pray for kirk i'm hearing pray for usher who jesus pray for usher and pray for justin um justin bieber and his wife Haley. so justin and Haley. yes i hope i'm saying her name right um yeah and then also to pray for whoever god puts into your spirit you know um yeah, whoever God puts into your spirit. They could be a celebrity, entertainer, sports figure. They could be your neighbor. They could be your family members. It does not matter, okay? It could be someone that's in leadership, maybe in, in the church or the ministry you belong to. Whoever it is, whoever God has put into your spirit. And, you know, God says for us to even pray for our enemies. He tells us to do good 
towards our enemies, right? To do good towards them, to pray for them. Love your enemies. Oh, Father God, we got to do everything in love. We have to do everything in love. So that's all I wanted to say in this video. I just felt led to get on here um, by the Holy Spirit. So pray about it. Go to God. Get confirmation from God. And just, there's so much to pray for. Because we have been called to intercede. We have been called to stand in the gap. We're generational curse breakers. Oh, Father God, we have power and authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. And God hears the prayers of the righteous. So keep on praying, brothers and sisters. Keep on praying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. God is deeply concerned about Justin and Haley. God is deeply concerned about Kirk and Usher. And Usher's children. Yes, his wife and his children, his sons. God don't want Usher's sons to go through what Usher went through. Usher needs a lot of healing. He needs a lot of deliverance. Of course, Justin and Kirk. But in particular, Usher needs a lot of healing and deliverance. Um, it's no telling what he's been through. We just would never know the whole picture. But God seen it. God seen everything Usher went through. Because he got into the industry at such a young age. He has a gift of singing. But he should have been singing all this time for the Lord. But unfortunately, um, his parents allowed him, his mother allowed him to get into a position of, you know, doing, singing for the world, promoting the world of darkness. And Usher got exposed to a lot of stuff. And I believe Usher is in denial. You know, he's traumatized. He's He has a lot of trauma, you know, and he has a lot of things buried, things, you know, buried deep down. And, um, he has tapped into things on his own as well, you know, um, a lot of things. So sexual perversion, you know, singing for the kingdom of darkness, promoting um, just all these things that represents the kingdom of darkness, you know, sexual immorality, fornication, whatever, you know, his music is from the pits of hell, really. It really is, you know, so... Um, Jesus, Lord God. Yeah, Usher needs a major deliverance. And see, these people, like, um, I don't want to say these people. I want to, uh, excuse me, I didn't mean to say it like that. Usher, Kirk Franklin, and Justin Timberlake. Not Justin Timberlake. Justin Bieber and his wife. But hey, Justin Timberlake needs Jesus too. <laughs> oh yes, the whole NSYNC need, needs Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Pray for them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay. Justin Timberlake. Yes. Woo, Father God. That's a whole nother video. But he's included as well because that brother is lost. Lost, lost, lost. My God, have mercy on the souls of these people. Father God, Lord Jesus, fix it. But um, I was going to say Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber, Kirk Franklin and Usher, they've been around lukewarm Christians. You know, they need to get around some serious men of God, serious women of God that are going to tell them the truth and that are truly going to pray for them, you know, and God may cause some folks to lay hands on them, you know, to cast out demons because these people need major deliverance. We all need deliverance, okay? We all need healing and deliverance. We all need a savior. My God. Jesus, Lord, fix it. So, yeah, they just need to be around some true women and men of faith that's going to tell them the truth and that's going to really pray for them and, 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 you know, just, you know, help them, you know? Because we're supposed to help each other. The body of Christ. We're supposed to tell each other the truth. We're supposed to confess our sins to one another. We're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to edify one another. And like I said earlier, a lot of Christians are not reading the Bible. Go back to the scriptures. Go back to the scriptures. Read the New Testament. Most of the New Testament books, Paul talks about through the Holy Spirit, how the body of Christ should operate. God has made it very clear. But a lot of us are not in the word like we should. We, we're not spending time with God, you know? So 
Father God, have mercy on their souls. Because let me tell you, the lake of fire is real. And that's not a place where God wants them to go. That's forever. I can't even imagine my family members or anybody. It don't matter who they are. It don't matter. The most crooked politician, the most evil person. I just can't imagine being in the lake of fire forever and being totally separated from God. The Bible says they will inherit darkness. Those who are lost, those who never repent and they die in their sins, they do not go to heaven, you guys. Everybody's not in heaven. Everybody's not Everybody's not going to heaven. Why did God send his son in the first place? To save us. Who, Jesus, to help us. We need help. We all need help. My God, Lord Jesus, Lord God. That's not a place. That's not a place for a human being to go. My God, it was not made for us originally, the Bible says. Who, Jesus, Lord God, have mercy to be totally separated from God for, forever. I can't even imagine that. And to be in torment, the Bible says a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth. A place where the worm never dies. There's no way out. There's no exit just non-stop continual torment and darkness separated from God like come on we gotta pray for these people they gotta oh father God make a way make a way Jesus 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 Lord God I know many of God's chosen ones God is gonna lead us to pray for some of these celebrities I'm talking about face to face I've been feeling that in my spirit for a while. God has got to line some things up. And that's why the enemy is pissed off. Because it's bigger than us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo! God did not allow everything that we went through, what I went through for no reason. It's bigger than us. It's always been bigger than us. We got work to do. We got work to do. I've been feeling that in my spirit for a long time. And I've been um, speaking that to my bestie. And she has been coming to an agreement with it. I've been feeling that in my spirit. Many of God's chosen ones, God has some special appointments. Some of us are going to lay hands on some of these folks. Some of these entertainers and celebrities, politicians. Yes, cast out demons, heal the sick, raise the dead. Jesus said we're going to do the greater works. It was always bigger than us. So stay in prayer, brothers and sisters. It's, oh, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. God has just been given more revelation. Thank you, Father God. That's why he had to pull us away from all the toxicity. That's why we have to get into this space of isolation with the Lord and just allow God to deal with us because we got things to do. God is raising up some bold women and men of faith. And we're not going to quench the spirit. We're not going to quench the things of God. God is raising up some humble brothers and sisters about our father's business. And no double in hell is going to stop it. I pray in Jesus' mighty name that Kirk Franklin will get it together. That he will humble himself before the Lord. That he will start taking accountability and stop trying to make a friend. Stop that he would leave. Um, I don't want to say it that he will stop trying to be friends with the world. Stop it. Come out in Jesus name. Be come out and be separated. The same thing with Usher. Come out and be separated. I pray that he will get away from all the Hollywood toxicity, that he will get around some true women and men of faith that really have the spirit of the Lord that would tell him the truth, that would pray for him, that would uplift him. Father God, I pray that he would get deliverance and healing from all the trauma he went through. Oh, Father God, Jesus, Lord God, Father God. And I pray for Justin and Haley, Father God, that they will get it together, that they will flee lukewarmness. The same thing, Justin has been through a lot too as well. Justin has been through a lot. Oh, Jesus, sometimes we, we try to figure it out. We try to figure out what's really going on with these celebrities, but we just don't know it all, y'all. God can tell us things. God can show us things, but God seen everything. He's seen it from the from the beginning. 
and he's always going to see everything. There's nothing hidden from God. So I just pray for their healing and their deliverance. I pray that they will all humble themselves before you, Father God, and submit to you, Father God. You said in your word already, Father God, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, hallelujah, repent and turn from their wicked ways, Father God that you will hear from heaven because you're a God that hears, you're a God that sees, you're a God that answers prayers and you're the only God that's alive. Hallelujah. Yes, God, you will hear from heaven and you will bring healing because he wants to heal. He wants to restore. He wants to deliver. He wants to be reconciled to Kirk. God wants Kirk to be reconciled back to him. God wants Justin to be reconciled back to him and his wife, Haley. God wants Usher to be reconciled back to him and all of their family members. My God, have mercy. Jesus, we pray, we intercede, and we stand in the gap. Hallelujah, Father God. God, help us. Help us all, Father God. Jesus, it's a narrow way. It's a narrow way that leads to life, the Bible says. And only a few will find it. Only a few will find it. Oh, Father God, Jesus. You know, we all deserve hell. Let's keep it real. We all deserve hell. Who God don't owe us nothing. All of us have fallen short from the glory of God. Who thank you, Father God. But God loved us so much that he gave us his only begotten son, that whoever so believes in Jesus will be healed and saved, will be delivered and saved. All those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He gave his only begotten son, that whoever so believes in him, the Lord Jesus Christ, will not perish, but have everlasting life. God wants Kirk to have everlasting life. God wants Usher and his children and his mother who was still alive. God is the hand of God is still upon all of their lives upon our lives God is merciful God is sovereign who he's waiting for them to get it together hallelujah hallelujah usher and his whole entire family my God who God is deeply concerned who father God about Justin and Haley as well who Jesus all three of them just popped up in my spirit as I was walking out, I got to go run an errand right now. And I'm about to end this video. But Jesus, Lord God, Father God, Jesus, hallelujah. Who Jesus, Lord God. Father God, help, 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 Lord God, help. Send help, Father God. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Lord God. Whew. love you brothers and sisters i gotta get out this car i love you i just have to be obedient to give out this message please pray please pray this is really serious the things that are people don't understand that their salvation people don't understand how oh jesus <sighs> we just a breath away from death we really are one breath away from death and most people think they have time to do all the foolish things of the world. They think they can do all these things and that they're going to go to heaven without repenting. The devil is a lie. No more time to be lukewarm. I was lukewarm for a long time, but praise God, in 2013, everything changed for me. If God did it for me, if God is doing it for millions upon millions, if he did it for the early Christians, he can do it for anybody. Ain't nothing too hard for God. We just got to humble ourselves and we got to submit to God. We have to accept that we are nothing but filthy rags without a holy and righteous God. We are nothing but filthy rags. My God, thank you, Father God. Who God has been keeping us. God is keeping everybody. But there's going to be a day where he's going to remove himself. The Spirit of God is going to be removed from this earth. And the Antichrist will have his way. My God. Jesus. Okay, you guys. Love you. I got to go. Let's continue to pray. Love you guys. Okay? Stay in prayer. Do not give up. Trust God. Love you guys. Bye.